yeah. this okay. dude needs to be picked up and he she they needs to be dropped off in the middle of palestine and it's always got to be the blacks I, I he is blanchard called them the negro sinians like the negro sin it's always them you sitting up here talking about a war that you don't know anything about yeah. you don't know anything about anything that's going on over there you probably haven't left your suburban neighborhood or your boyfriend's house like you just just shut up but now they have uncovered the people behind the protest at columbia university uh so uh, i want you guys to see these are the people they are nuts they are really insane there's a guy named kimani james he's a student leader mm -hmm. uh, uh leader of the columbia university's anti-israeli uh gaza solidarity a camp uh, who, he openly came forward as a, a um, zoo, I guess it's a Zoom video of him openly stating that the, the Zionists do not des deserve to live. And I want you guys to take a look at this. This is pure madness. One second. Let's see here. Let me get this one for you. And then I want to get you to comment. All right. This is him. This is the Daily Wire reporting. Zionist, um, this is him right here. And take a look at what he says here. Directors in the Center for Student Success and Intervention. I'm Kamani James. I use he, she, they pronouns. Of course. Zionists, Zionists in my DM wanting to meet up and fight. I don't fight to injure or for there to be a winner or a loser. I fight to kill. See y'all in New York, January 2024. Mm -hmm. So that, that's specifically what we're going to be discussing today. Mm -hmm. Do you see why that's problematic in any way? No. Do you think that there's a serious weight in taking someone's, someone else's life? I think there is a serious weight in taking someone's life. Um, and at the same time, I think that taking someone's life in certain case scenarios is necessary and better for the overall world. And so I personally have never killed anyone. Thank the Lord that no one has oh, no. put me in that position. Though, when Hitler died. Um, my name is Sasha Lakato, I'm one of the associate directors in the Center for Student Success. And okay, Inter that was him. Uh, that's crazy. Is it not? You can see what he said? Yeah. yeah. Well, let me, okay, let me, I want to break it down just a little bit. Okay. See, what the left does, is they will say a little bit of truth mixed with a lot of lies, okay? He's right that murdering people is wrong. Killing someone, there's a difference between murder and killing. Killing someone in defense of your own life or the lives of your family members, that's justifiable. So in that little bit, he was actually right in making that distinction. Now, I don't know if he knew that, but that, he was right. That's the truth part. The part that he's advocating for is to kill people, murder people, I should say, based on their ethnicity or religion. I saw an article today uh, about some uh, Iranian people, I think a couple of people who were murdered, probably because they were on TikTok and they were, the, the woman maybe was too revealing for Iranian standards and another guy, another TikToker or whatever. But the same stuff that Kamani, however you pronounce his name, is spewing, he, she, and they go to Iran and Palestine, and all three of you will be put to death. Yeah. I wonder yeah. your thoughts on what he said, Crystal. Yeah, there's nothing true about what he said. I got pushed back, Shelly. Like, yeah. this okay. dude needs to be picked up and he she they needs to be dropped off in the middle of Palestine. Like these people are just in, in their cush Western world, they're so pussy. Like he's sitting there as a man with a penis talking about, um, I didn't really, uh, uh Zion and kill. You won't kill anything. You won't kill a fly. You are a straight up female. And I wish people like that would be called 
out and like harassed and be sent over to where you think is so great. And it's always got to be the blacks. I, I, he is Blanchard called them the Negro Sinians. Like the Negro Sinians, it's always them. You sitting up here talking about a war that you don't know anything about. Yeah. You don't know anything about anything that's going on over there. You probably haven't left your suburban neighborhood or your boyfriend's house. Like you just, just shut up. Like shut up. Yeah. Yeah, and why is it always black? <laughs> it's the black. Look, I don't. Yeah, I don't agree I, I'm, with you there. Yeah, I think. Remember when we had Chad, Chad on Chad O. Jackson, I think, and mm -hmm. we asked him that about why were black people specifically seemingly chosen to carry this this banner of Marxism, communism, all kinds of foolishness, right? And I I believe this long as well that because of slavery these um i don't know the pundits if you will or the manipulators use that 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 issue that challenge on american stain to manipulate and expand it for the black people and just they just went haywire with it it takes every shape and form so i do think that's why so now you have black people like you said crystal these relatively well off black people they go to columbia and colleges in california uh, emory in atlanta they go they go to these elite institutions right upwards of a hundred thousand dollars a year and they have the audacity the unmitigated gall and ingratitude to say and link on that they are oppressed and that they are you know uh, linking with the other oppressed people of the world bull freaking crap that yeah. this is this is utter insanity yeah yeah it is it really is uh and and again we continue to see uh as you mentioned a lot of these black gay people black marxists blm are at the forefront of these destructive movements and we know we we've, we've been pushing about the talking about this for for a while now how it's all marxism you yeah, know and they're, Marxist. Mm -hmm. and they're trying to make their insignificant lives significant like i mean you right. have to do that when you've accomplished absolutely zero and i love the blacks that love to say i am my ancestors wildest dreams no you are your ancestors wildest yeah. freaking nightmares right. you have exactly. literally everything that you say that they've worked for and all the slavery that they've overcome you now with your faggoty Columbia mouth. I'm stealing that from a few good men from your faggoty Columbia mouth. Sit there and talk about and support something that you have no clue what's going on. But the things that you can solve in your like we send you to this institution to make our world to make America better. You can actually solve it. You don't do it because why you can stand up and be significant and oh, Palestine and whatever about the Jews and feel like you're somebody newsflash. Sure. You ain't nobody, but a gay bottom. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you know what I find also, I mean, interesting or fascinating is that how these um, I don't know, oppressed movements, they just pick up like fire. I mean, literally, I've read that they have uh, students at, in Australia and some in Europe. All This is an international movement now. It's like how everything not good is picked up and it just goes around the world so quickly. And it, these things are started by these ingrates, these wealthy, relatively wealthy compared to the rest of the world in greats who are just basically suckling everything out, the life out of our country. They do nothing. They have nothing. They own nothing. They produce nothing. But yet they can go around the world with these foolish, harmful, if you will, movements claiming to be oppressed. All over the world, these things are happening and how quickly this is. Everything evil and bad happens so much quickly, more so than something good. And we know why. We saw how, well, first it started with Biden and he, I'm sorry, Obama. And, and now they're doing it in the Biden administration as well. They're going through over to African countries, you know, these uh, South, these Latin countries, South American countries, and they're trying to push this LGBT. They're pushing this Marxism. Then we see it over in our schools. You know, with we saw the colleges and they're also pushing it in K through 12, trying to push this type of, of 
stuff, you know, oh, get them oh, early. Oh. And and, we, and I'm so happy your podcast like ours and you guys, our community here are pushing back against it. We yeah. have to continue to stand up against it because this is what their this is their plan. This was the Marxist communist plan many years ago. And, and unfortunately, it, a lot of it has come into fruition. Yeah, right? for sure. I said be, I've said before that uh, President Trump was not supposed to have been elected in 20 uh, 2016. Right. He Because that slowed down their plan. Now they're making up for it under the, you know, the dear elect that we have in the White House because the plan was supposed to continue. He put a wedge in it. They have to do double time now to do more damage in in shorter period of time. And they're trying to use everything that they can to throw at President Trump and the country by and large to stop him from getting into the White House again.